Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh. So today we'll be talking about another session on open telemetry, which is becoming very, very popular and hot topic into the space of observability in SRE. Uh, first and foremost, if you're not like and subscribe to the channel, please do that from here so that you can get all the updates related to open telemetry, Grafana, Kubernetes, and so on. And you can uh, see all of the videos in the same topic in the same playlist, open telemetry playlist. Let's talk about what we are going to do with today. So today, uh, since uh, we want to do metrics monitoring uh, of a particular box, it can be Linux box, it can be a Kubernetes, or it can be anything else. Uh, and uh, basically, we need to capture the host matrix, which is uh, being requested by a lot of uh, a lot of my colleagues and friends. So, how I can uh, monitor my box, especially the host matrix, like CPU, memory, network, and all that, using Otel Collector, and the node level matrix by a popular called as Node Exporter, and then again using Otel Collector. So, we'll be using Otel Collector as an agent here, not the Grafana agent or not any other agent. Again, why we are using Hotel Collector as an agent? You can see other videos because it is, you know, tool agnostic and it is powerful to send metrics, logs, and traces to your uh, end Prometheus. What are the things that we're going to do in this today's session? We'll be installing Prometheus on a Linux box. We'll be installing Grafana. We'll be installing Node Exporter so that actually it can capture all the metrics related to nodes. And then it will be we'll be installing a Hotel Collector agent, uh, which will act as a bridge to send metrics from the node to the host metrics from here to prometheus as an agent okay a quick recap what we have done so far in our earlier videos in the same playlist uh, we did the same setup on kubernetes we did the same setup on got docker with a sample application in the last video we tried to collect log using auto collector but with the help of locky receiver lock in file receiver so today we'll be checking on the metrics part so yes yeah last time it was a log today it was the metrics part these are the tools that we'll be using in today's uh, demo. I uh, will be installing this Prometheus Grafana node exporter and then finally the hotel collector agent. Let us quickly jump onto the uh, practical implementation of it. We have a GitHub page for the same, and this is that page I'm talking about where you can find all the things pertaining to this, uh, you know, session or demo. And then let's see, uh, let's do all these things one by one onto the Ubuntu box or any box that you have it. Fine, I have a Ubuntu box up and running. This is my, uh, you know, uh, repository I'm talking about. And these are the components of this. So let's go one by one. So I have already a clone to my uh, uh, local. So first of all, you need to, uh, you know, install Prometheus on your Ubuntu machine. If it is not installed, you can simply follow the documentation. It's a fairly straightforward thing. And uh, this documentation is already placed in one of the another GitHub page for me under my repository. So you can simply follow these steps, and your Prometheus will be up and running quickly on to this port number 1990. So just to save time, I've already installed Prometheus because the idea behind this session is to show Hotel Collector configuration. So Prometheus is up and running. Okay, coming back to my same page, second step is install Grafana. Again, for Grafana, you can refer the other. A yaml file and then the grafana will come up automatically on this page localhost port number 3 and 3000 okay so let me show that grafana is also running again i'm the intent of this session is not to show how to install grafana and prometheus but to show how to how hotel collector works now i want to install the node exporter to capture the node level matrix so the, again that is that has, we have already done it so yeah we are using the same yaml file again so node exporter Metrics will be exposed on this port, port number 9100. We'll directly see whether the node exporter is running or not. Yes, node exporter is running and metrics are coming on this metric endpoint. Perfect. So, important three prerequisites done. So, let's talk about the hotel collector. Now, next final step is install hotel collector agent onto Ubuntu machine. So, for this, uh, you need to first of all get the you know, binary. Uh, we can do that now. Uh, we'll follow the steps closely. So, I can just quickly uh, go to my this monitoring channel, monitoring sorry folder. Okay, let me create another folder. Uh, hotel, CD hotel. Okay, fine. I'll just run these steps. Uh, okay. 
and once the file is downloaded, we will do. A... Okay, the file is downloaded. This is the hotel contract collector version that is directly coming from this GitHub page. I'll do a unpackage of this. Okay, unpackage. It's, it created a same link over there. Okay. I'll go to this location where my uh, configuration files are there. Okay, let's simply go to the right. So, uh, and then I'll just move this file to the uh, original file so that I can do a fresh installation in front of you. I have moved this file so there's no config.yaml. Now I'll just do a seed sudo vi of. I'll create a fast file now. Now, this is the configuration file that I'm talking about. So, what is this file? So, again, there are three components of it we have a receiver, processors, and exporters. So, uh, normally, uh, uh, the metrics are uh, received at uh, these ports like grpc port or http port. So, we need to enable both these ports 4317 and 4318. Uh, you can follow the other documentation if you need more details. What are the grpc and http ports? Now, we, if you want to collect the own metrics, when I say own metrics, we need we need we want to collect the hotel collector, its agent level metrics also. So that will come on port number, no eight 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 eight. So and this is under this is coming in receivers. So if you see, this is the first section. Uh, this is the this is the important section where we are saying that please collect my metrics from these endpoints. So hotel collector will collect total collector metrics. Node exporter will collect node exporter metrics from this port number 9100, which is running on the same machine. You saw it sometime back. I show it to you. So this agent will pick up metrics from here, right? So I'm saying please collect total collector from here, node exporter from here. Now there is one more question that is coming from a lot of people. Suppose I don't want to enable these endpoints. I want to collect own metrics. So hotel collector gives one more option of one more receiver called as this host metric receiver and i can collect uh, these are scrapers cpu level metrics disk file system load cpu load metrics memory utilization metrics network related metrics and the paging related metrics so this will also come under the same bucket so ideally we have how many receivers we have hotel collector one of the receiver node is putting second and then the host metrics third receiver now this is all about receivers part now processor is batch so why uh, there's nothing I mentioned so processor is uh, again another beautiful step where we can do filtration where we can enrich the data but for now we are not doing anything this is the second step the third step is the exporter now exporters again there are two components logging and permissions remote write so i'm saying please route all my uh, metrics to this remote write endpoint so ultimately i'm saying please capture everything from the receiver and send it to these uh, this endpoint permissions remote write now, last in the final part is service, which is a pipeline. Now I have enabled only metrics pipeline. So if you see, I'm saying please capture things from my OTLP, Prometheus, and host metrics, and then process it and finally send it to the Prometheus remote right. So I can have n number of receivers, n number of exporters, and n number of you know processors within this. So that is the beauty of hotel collector. We can read from multiple endpoints and send it to multiple uh, you know endpoints. Right. So this is what we are doing. I'll just simply copy this file. I'll come on here. I'll paste it. Okay. I'll do copy and insert. I'll do paste. Okay. So I've pasted this file. I've saved it. Now I'll just come on to my documentation again. Now this is paste the contents of hotel config file YAML file from this report to the this. Now if you have good question. Now, if you have, uh, suppose you want to, you your Prometheus is somewhere else, whether it's on secure HTTPS or somewhere, so you need to replace this local host to that IP address. Simple, as simple as that. Suppose your Prometheus is running on your EC2 instance, please have change local host to that EC2 instance IP or any other IP or any other DNS that, you, that where you have your Prometheus up and running. Perfect. Now, this is done. Now, we need to just do a system daemon reload so that I can, uh, you know, run this. Uh, collector again, just starting it again for the sake of simplicity, and then I'll just check whether the collector is up and running. Fine, the collector is coming up nicely. So now, now I'll just simply go to my Grafana. 
so this is my grafana uh, which is already running now i'll come here i'll come to explore section to see how many matrices or how many jobs are coming okay so there's a golden command for this you can simply run this piece and see how many matrices are coming per job i'll come here i just simply run this command and see how much how much is coming okay so you can see interestingly uh, the node exporter is coming which i was saying that it should come okay the node exporter matrix are coming which is this job the total collect is coming which is nothing but this job okay 112 matrix node exporter 1400 matrix and there's another from me i'll talk about it and there's another empty job name so what is empty job name it is nothing but host matrix and it is also giving 274 matrices now what is this job prometheus now my prometheus is also running separately uh, as i told you now that is also capturing its own matrix and that is being configured in this separate prometheus configuration so that is the reason uh, you can see the prometheus job is coming let me show you just to make it so clear so if you cat this you will see this job is coming so prometheus is also scraping its own matrix i think i'm back prometheus is scraping its own matrix portal collector scraping its own agent matrix node exporter is nothing but these matrices okay and then uh, the portal collector host matrix i mean the the uh, the server host matrices now we have seen all these things are coming properly now let's see uh, with the help of dashboard whether uh, it is coming on dashboard also or not so i'll come here you can simply uh come back here and then simply go to my documentation add these two dashboards uh one is for node exporter other is for hotel collector so i'll come here dashboards simply i'll do a import i'll do 1860 which is a node export popular dashboard i'll select the data source as for me here i'll do import now you can see the data data is coming nicely the dashboards come you know uh, populating nicely you can see all the charts if you need more details on the node exporter you can see my other dashboards videos into the grafana playlist but yeah this node exporter is very very popular it will give you the bird's eye view of your entire uh, infrastructure it can be cpu it can be memory it can be disk it can be I mean network i mean there's a lot of panels if you scroll down there's a lot of panels so you can simply see hardware network related story related and then you can create alerts on top of it so you can see more videos related to alerts and dashboard into that section but this is more about understanding the hotel you know open telemetry collection of metrics using hotel agent so this is about node exporter dashboard let's see the hotel collector which is the again important piece so the another important id for hotel collector is 15983 i'll copy this i'll paste it here i'll load it and then it will just come up nicely so this is hotel collector uh agent dashboard now this will show you there are no span there are no logs because i am not collecting my traces and logs from the hotel collector today today is only about metrics so you can see metrics points are coming uh, host metric and prometheus metrics okay and the moment i do a you can see the uh, uh the prometheus metrics host metrics okay there certain diffuse metrics also bet size you can see metrics point exporter queue capacity so you just report to that so you can get other level of details uh, related to hotel collector right how to enable so there is a documentation also so you can simply click this and understand the documentation that's what we have been following it up to and see hotel call metric tree labels also you can use you can use exporters from eps so there is a lot of documentation available for this but yeah for today's session let's understand how to bring matrices from your box to here right so uh, in a nutshell just to give a quick overview what we did we just installed uh let me just run this piece again so that becomes still clear so basically we have four endpoints node exporter prometheus and hotel in the uh, system metric everything is coming as a as a metric and you can do the builder also like this so suppose from here and then do a filtration run the query okay anyway so uh, just to summarize everything what we did okay 
come back, coming back here we install prometheus first uh, and we use the existing uh, github page to install prometheus then we install grafana then we install Grafana node exporter and then finally this was the important piece that we discussed in a greater detail we install hotel collector agent and then how those uh, three things the receivers processors and exporters are helping to ship the matrices from your server to the prometheus and ultimately it is visible on grafana via beautiful dashboard and then uh, service pipeline we're talking about only metrics today uh, uh, this is metric pipeline i'm talking about correct this pipeline and we're not talking about the logs and traces today so yeah that's what we did uh, i would like to you to practice on your systems if you feel or if you you know stuck somewhere please do mention in the comment section i will happy to help you or we'll try to resolve the issue uh, if you are getting anything pertaining to open telemetry also last but not least do not forget to like and subscribe the channel because this can be pretty use pretty much useful to you if you are interested in kubernetes grafana open telemetry and all the related azure or cloud related stuff i will you know maybe wrap up the session today for today for now see you soon okay bye, -bye. Thank you.